it's me, Sedona, and Veronica. And today, what are we doing? Oh, and Bubbly. Oh, and he farted. <laughs> this is the baddie talking series. Yes. We're two baddies and we just talk on whatever we think is right. right? And we try to help you because you guys are also baddies, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I posted on my Instagram and there's like hella responses. Wow. Yeah. So we're gonna answer all of them and then we're gonna do like advice for relationships, friendships, family ships, I don't know, whatever. If y'all need advice on like family and stuff, we're here. But we are not professionals, guys. We but are, obviously not. We are not therapists. Obviously so, not. Yeah. Okay, so hey Sedona and Veronica, I was talking to this guy I was talking to this guy and he was my boy best friend for months and we started to like each other and we started dating but we only dated for a week and he was like I just want to wait until we're older and he said we can still be friends and but then he ghosted me and on my birthday he said happy birthday and then blocked me do you think he truly loved me or not to be honest with you i think that there were a lot of emotions involved but he might have felt something strong in the moment at the end of the day i don't think that was a true love i'm so sorry i'm so sorry um i think that he loved you as the best friend and he wanted mm. something with you maybe but then he like experienced what it maybe would have been with you and he didn't probably want that because girl i've been in that place too i don't think he's ready for a relationship not with you anyways i know it sounds harsh but like he's just immature too immature yes. that's why he said let's yes. wait until we're older and then i but hate don't when, wait for him don't don't, don't. No. move on right now like move on right now go post bad tiktoks of yourself go post bad pictures of yourself like bad not bad bad yes <laughs> no don't post bad pictures of yourself you know it needs to be bad anyways so. okay <laughs> so um, i've been in that place too and the guy was like we can still be friends like boy bye no never never we're never being friends ever the exactly fuck? and because then you witness them living mm -hmm. life being happy without you but they don't want you to move on they still want to keep you they want to keep you attached so they Interested. check in they check in every yes. here and there to keep you attached but do not reply next time he unblocks you and like texts you or likes your story or something anything block him yeah don't wait for him to block you don't wait for him to do that you have to make the the next move okay because you're a baddie and yes. you don't need a man exactly. she don't need a man i don't need a man <laughs> so yeah how do you get over a boy okay first of all i'm this is a secret y'all and he might be watching this but i'm not even over my ex yet like i'm not like obsessed with him to like the point where i still like check his page every day i haven't even checked his page in months but in the back of my mind every day all i do is think about him so all you gotta do is just fake it until you actually get over him. You just have to keep telling yourself to get over him and then eventually you will. That's what I'm doing right now. Like, that's what I'm going through as well right now. I agree with Sedona. It takes some time to get over your ex. And I feel like I'm never... Like, I'm, I'm over him. I don't want a relationship with him. I just miss the love that he gave me because mm -hmm. I haven't yes. felt loved in so long. So the second somebody shows me love, I get so attached to them. And I didn't even want a relationship. He asked me for the relationship. And then he said he loved me first and then he broke up with me anyways mm -hmm. so if you're watching this my advice to you would also be to get busy because nothing will help as much girl as, it doesn't matter what you time. do it doesn't no. matter what you do it's better. it doesn't matter what i do i'm always thinking about him yes but it is better to do something rather than sitting there and thinking, crying. Don't listen to sad songs. Don't look at pictures of you together. Uh, Don't do that. I think <laughs> that's where I messed up. Get a new hobby, maybe. Get into yeah, something Yeah, go smoke new. some weed and drink some alcohol and sell some no, crack. No, no. Don't, definitely don't do that. Because I'm kidding, then, guys. Uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> get a new hobby, get into something else and hang out with your friends. In time, you will... Unless you don't got no friends. You that was think, me for a while. You will think of him less and less until... No, you won't. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> no, you won't. I don't think of my one of my first boyfriends. Because you're what, 50? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I have that experience. Mm, okay. Too. You'll get over it. Anyway, she doesn't know what she's talking about. But I about. would also work on myself. I would be like, well, he doesn't want me or also then, then his loss because I will make myself be a real baddie. I will work out and, and show him what he's missing, but I will not want him back. 
you know? Okay. You another can work thi- on your sh- sh- Another thing <laughs> you should do is if you're old enough, go get a job and get your money up. That's what's going to make him real mad. If he left you or if you left him and he sees that you're making money, that's the best <laughs> thing to do. Okay? That's the best, best, okay. best thing to do. Girl, shh. Okay. Also, 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 make sure to post, like, really cute baddie pictures. Like, post, like, really cute pictures of yourself, really cute TikToks. Even if he has you blocked, like, it'll make you feel better about yourself. Plus, you can find someone new by doing that. Yes. Yes. So, anyways, can you give me advice on how to find good friends? It's so hard to find real friends now. My advice Mm -hmm. is don't look for them. Wait for them to come to you because all of my friendships that I had, if I had to initiate it first, it always ended badly. Like, the only two close friends that I have is Vivi. I've been friends with her for years. And my other best friend Gally. I've been friends with her for a few months now. You just have to wait. Like, don't search for friends because that's when you're gonna meet fake people. Especially at school. Do not become friends with those bitches at your school, bro, because all of them will turn on you. It depends what kind of people you choose to be friends with. I'm sure that... All of them are the same in my in my old school. All of them were the same. I They're... met some of my best friends at school. Okay, but you didn't, you didn't go to... Yes, a... that's true. But I would say, if you like dancing, join a dance group. Uh, I've been if asking you... Like drawing, you go join a drawing or tourist club i don't know you guys what's out there now but basketball Ooh. cheerleading whatever and you can make friends there and don't push it don't push it though take your time i always tell sedona not to rush it and not to be too intense too quickly you know just build your relationship slowly get to know each other before you, you it's kind of hard <laughs> when you have like when you had nobody for so long and then you finally make a good connection with mm-hmm. somebody yeah no, no, yeah, because you don't understand. I know I am. I'm kind of old, guys. <laughs> no, you're not. Gosh, she's 21. If you didn't, I know. met some of my my best friends at school, but also online. Okay, and where are they right now? Shared interests. And where are they right now? They are still my friends. Girl, no, they're not. Yes, Bohush. I met her. I placed. Girl, you did not meet okay, Bohush I, at school. I placed an ad in the magazine, so sort of like a dating app for friends. I don't know. Oh, like with. I placed an ad when we used to live in England, and I said I'm looking for friends to go I'm to I'm looking for a guy in the villa no. personality I said I'm looking for friends to go to concerts with you know girl so I'm trying to look for friends to go to a concert me. with too but if I found a friend to go to a concert with you wouldn't let me go Yes, I would. No, you would not. Yes, Girl, would. no, she's lying, y'all. Yes, she's lying. She's lying. But that's what I did. You would I probably said... come with me. You'd be like, mm, come back by 6 p.m. <laughs> no. Anyways, that's how I found my best friend. And my other friends I found online in some kind of discussion board for I months. thought you were going to say Discord server. <laughs> <laughs> Discord. Well, yeah, if I was your age, I probably Girl. would. But, but you guys have to be extremely ca- careful. Careful. You guys, you guys have to be extremely... Excuse me. You guys have to be extremely careful before you meet people Because all the... Like, online. bro. Or get a dog. And you, you meet some uh, Yeah, but don't friends. have your mom get a dog. Get your... Don't have your mom hug the dog because now that's her baby, not mine. And it was my choice at first. And you can do agility. Is it agility or agility classes? They have a dog friend group. Yeah. yeah We're getting off tra- track. Yeah, so to summarize it, get a new hobby where you can meet like-minded people. Look online. Whatever interests you, chat with people about your interests and that's where you can meet your your friends. And also school. Yeah, okay, also. next question is, girl, my ex keeps coming back and messing around with me. What do I do? Honestly, if it's bothering you that he keeps messing with you, like I know you might want him to see that you have a glow up or that you're doing things outside the house or that you're like doing fun stuff. But if it's bothering you that he's messing with you just block him and every other account that he makes just block it too block his friends block his number block everything block his tiktok block everything because then after that he'll get the memo not to fuck with you no more yeah yeah pretty much yeah i think it it's the same advice that we already talked about some people they are not good for you whatever you do and i know sometimes it's very very hard to stay away from these people because your heart is telling you your heart Yes, your heart is telling you you want to be with them, they want to be with you, and you're hoping they change. But they don't change. They don't, yeah. You, how Once many, a snake, always a snake. How many chances did you give give him? Probably a million. Yeah. I gave mine a million, million chances. Okay, so you will feel better in the long term if you it. basically go no contact, if you can. Obviously, it's hard if you guys have to see each other at school or work or something like that. But, but you just have to ignore it yeah and stop watching his page don't follow him i don't think she does because she said 
girl my ex keeps coming mm-hmm. back messing around with me what do i do and she seems like urgent like what do mm-hmm, i do mm-hmm. so i don't think she's stalking him i think he's stalking her stalking girl that's well, like a little term oh, for okay. like you have to be strong and cut it off basically completely just stop. yeah and find a new guy my best friend got a boyfriend and ever since then she never really texts me wait for her because soon enough that boy i know this sounds rude but soon enough that boy will be gone and you will be all that she has like trust me me and viviana have both been in this situation with each other like a million trillion times and each time like it always ends the same way so just i say give it time just do your own stuff work on yourself maybe start talking to your best friend like slowly and slowly but wait for her to text you first don't text her first and then when they break up then she'll be all yours yeah. yeah right now she's in love and her brain is flooded with hormones and she literally cannot think of anything else but except it's, him but it's nothing personal she still loves you you could also talk to her and say do not be like hey you never hang out with me you know don't don't like talk to her like that just tell her hey friend i miss, I miss you. you can we hang out <laughs> yeah i miss how we used to do like can uh, we call and movie night instead of you listening to her talking about her boyfriend change the subject because mm-hmm. whenever yeah. viviana or me would talk about like any guy like we would get so annoyed with each other but we would always like deal with it and then mm-hmm. it would end within like a week yeah so you have to be patient another thing you could do is if you don't have a boyfriend ask your friend Ooh, ask your friend's boyfriend if he has any friends for you and y'all can go on a two man and then y'all can talk about them together and then that's how y'all can bond again yes yeah how should i drop a friend that i will have to see every day and can't avoid and i love you too because it says i love you at the end honestly I think what you should do is just block them on everything. Like, I went to a school for, like, a whole year straight where people hated me. Everybody. Except for, like, two people hated me. And I had to see them every day. But I had them blocked on everything. They still found ways to see my stuff, which is obsessive. You have to have that I don't give a mindset you have to like just don't care like you're gonna have to see them anyway if they're being fake to you drop them it depends what they did like if it was a good friend but you grew apart they have like different interests than you if you guys were good friends then maybe talk to them but if they did some fake stuff to you it's difficult but like what i would do and i'm not proud of it sometimes i would just like slowly that's what you're not supposed to do i hate confrontation so i would just slowly kind of disappear no because then they talk shit about you behind your back and yeah. then they try to act cool with you in person just but, block them cut all okay. contact with them show them that you're not cool with them they're not cool with you but so if if, that's it. if you have to see them at school it doesn't matter keep that same energy that they have i would say if you already are not talking and you have to see each other at school then i would probably say they're like, gonna talk shit about you Okay. I would ask a different friend to walk with to school so I don't feel alone. Walk is crazy. Do don't it. ask. Have them offer. What? Have them offer. What offer? Like, can, do you want to walk with me to school today? Don't ask people for stuff because it's going to show that you're desperate and that you're alone and that you need... Girl, don't look at me like that because you're not in this new generation. You don't know how okay. it works. You don't know what? any... Like, you don't like, know. Like, why can't I ask my other friends, hey, uh, can I meet you Because in the they're morning? probably all fake too. I don't speak to nobody from... the school i went to anymore and i thought i had a best 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 friend and i still love her so much but me and her fell out and my advice is don't get attached to people because no no one's gonna stay forever but that's not not a way to live i would say that's how i'm living right now talk to other people as well and so you are not alone and it's not awkward but don't or go to therapy yeah also go to a therapist and ask for advice but when you are with these other people don't create drama don't no like, create drama that's the no. fun part don't be like with other people and when you see your ex-best friend don't be laughing at her sneaker don't laugh like, at her but you can say like no don't do anything girl do she's anything. miss goody two shoes i don't know if y'all watch cobra kai but obviously like she's miyagi though and i'm cobra kai <laughs> no. just to- and she thinks self-defense is like the best thing ever no you gotta strike first get support from other friends basically 
that yes. are gonna leave you but okay but and don't get into drama get because into drama. that makes everything worse honestly like i was gonna get kicked out that school anyway and i wish i fought some people no. like i really wish i fought some people no. while i was still there it's not cool it's cringy okay i don't care that's not bad i need to get my that's hands on them baddie. i don't like them anyways we are not those kind of baddies i'm that kind of baddie you're not violence is not an answer girl bye okay next. okay what would you do if your old best friend hangs out with your ex now i would say find out where they are like find out where they are crash their little party or whatever and no. beat the girl up and then your ex too no and then drag both of them no you down do the stairs and then yeah no yeah you do nothing you do absolutely nothing you ignore them they are air they are not girl, affecting you got you. me for the that's that will be their that's work. so they're beneath disrespectful. you they're beneath you that's You're, disrespectful though it is disrespectful what they are doing Ooh. but then <laughs> no you you are not doing anything don't do anything there's nothing you can do anyways if you don't want to embarrass yourself it would hurt me of course it would only would, embarrass yourself feel, if you lost the fight i would feel sad but i girl i wouldn't do anything that's why she's a single mom anyways <laughs> Who does it have to do with anything? <laughs> Anyways, okay. advice for freshman year of high school. Don't go. <laughs> just don't. Drop out as soon as you can. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm sorry. I'm being such a bad role model right Join now. Join after school clubs. Don't listen to her. After school clubs are so cringy, bro. I hate after school clubs. You have never even went Yes, I have. No, and I haven't. Yes, that's mm -hmm. where all the fake no. people go. Yes. You can... No. Honestly, for freshman year of high school, make friends at school, but don't have a best friend at school because the best friends at school, they don't ever last. Get a best friend that's outside of school and then have mutual people inside of freshman year or whatever inside of school don't create drama because it's not gonna end good for you like that's what i did in freshman year like i had that hot cheeto girl mentality the school that i went to everyone would talk shit behind each other's backs and then i was like the only one to speak up about it when i heard somebody talking bad about me and it was my like third day of school and i got called a whale so i went up to the boys that called me a whale and then that just started a whole new thing that's when everybody started to hate me when i started speaking up and defending myself that's when they started to hate me so if you hear people talking about you run your fade with them but don't argue with them just fight them i would say have fun don't do drama join after school activities and make the most of it make friends because some of these people might be your friends for life what but choose carefully the kind of friends you choose advice for the first day of high school wear your cutest outfit make sure you smell good bring deodorant get a good night's sleep before you go also on the first day bring all your school supplies because throughout the year you're not gonna buy them i had no school supplies i didn't even have a pencil sometimes and my teachers would always be like tomorrow you have to bring this and i would come to school tomorrow and they wouldn't say anything so i never ever ever got the supplies ever ever so make sure you get all we, your supplies at the beginning of the year so that way you don't have to like we ooh. did go shopping for supplies girl we got, i like, don't know what sedona did with it girl but she could also ask and get supplies but she never asked me what she still needed so anyways <laughs> um yeah i would say just be as confident as you can try to make good impressions on all your teachers mm. even though they're gonna catch you being loud in the hallway <laughs> <laughs> Just have a good impression with them. Oh, stop jumping on me. Oh my gosh. Also, bring your dog to school. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know how to drop my best friends because she's so toxic. I think we already answered something similar to that. Like, yes, we did. If she's that toxic, if she's toxic for you, just the best thing that you can do for yourself is leave that friendship. Yeah, if it got to the point it's making you really unhappy, if it's uh, making your life worse, you have to find a way to cool the relationship down. And if nothing helps, you'll have to just... Cut off all ties. Yeah, and I know this is probably not going to be easy but just remember that it's going to be better for you i'm going into sixth grade any tips don't get into makeup until you're in high school because you're gonna start to be insecure in sixth grade seventh grade eighth grade but you're not gonna see these people in like five years so why are you gonna ruin your confidence for them you know what i mean so my advice to you is just be confident make friends because sixth grade people are still like nice you know mm -hmm. they're not like as fake well they are fake but it's not like 
you know what I mean? So just try to make friends, try to have a positive attitude every day. Listen to really cute music when you're getting ready. Hype yourself up, put on your alarm, like get up baddie. Do stuff to motivate you to go to school because that's what I messed up. Like I stopped doing school when I was in sixth grade. Like that's when I stopped like caring for school. And that's where I okay so just honestly mm -hmm. join after school clubs again oh my god that's what i keep saying i have a really hard time with anxiety how do you deal with it while going out my mom and her best friend they think this is bad for me because this can get you kidnapped but what i do is because whenever i go outside because i've had such bad experiences with like people not just men but like people in general to the point where when i go outside like i have so much anxiety you know what i mean so I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear cars passing. I don't want to hear people talking on their balcony. Like, I don't want to hear people in the metro. I don't want to hear people on the bus. So all I do is I just wear my headphones 24-7. Like, even inside the house. Like, because I even get anxiety inside the house too. Like, so whenever I get anxiety, I just blast music. And that's kind of what gets me through it. I don't know. I don't really have any tips for anxiety because I'm mm -hmm. struggling with that myself right now. I would but... say this is more for professional help you know like a therapist psychologist they can really help you with, with that but I would say exercise uh, meditation talking to a therapist or at least talk to I've done all of that stuff friend. and it doesn't help there are some apps that you can download that will help you with your mental health there is an app called something like don't panic and they give you like useful tips i don't know i haven't checked it myself but try to look for an app anyways thank you guys for watching we love all you baddies yes. all of y'all are bad bitches okay <laughs> stay bad and comment below your questions for the next video yes because we will answer all of them anyways bye guys we love, love you, you.